Hey y'all, it's Andrew Reed with Mossy Creek Mushrooms and today I want to talk to you about your ventilation and your humidification. One of the big things to remember about ventilation is to go a little bit bigger than what you might need. For me, my grow room is 1,881 cubic square feet. My fan is, let's see, right there, is 810 cubic feet per minute can fan. Uh, I'll put the link down for that below. It means that I can replace the air in my grow room roughly once every two and a half minutes. And it allows us to have that on 24 seven and have fresh air constantly coming in, which allows us to have really nice, pretty mushrooms like these guys here. It's really easy to, to install <clears throat> your ventilation. Uh, let me turn the camera around here. There we go. So our fan was just laid down on our shelf here. We got an eight inch can fan that's capable of doing 810 cubic feet per minute. We have eight inch ducting that just goes through the top of our grow room. We hung it with U-nails in the top and then tied off by paracord just to hold it up. And that simply just goes out of our room through above through the top of the door and then on outside. So that way we don't have a whole bunch of spory air inside our house giving people spore lung. That's it as far as the ventilation. Our ventilation is a, a negatively pressured grow room vent because it allows us to suck air out of the grow room. There's no pushing in. And that is because we have a lab right next door to the grow room and we don't want air being pushed out in a positive way to where it might go into our lab. Our lab is positive pressure. Our grow room is negative pressure. It means that we pull air out and allow air to just naturally flow in rather than pushing air in so that air bleeds out of the seals in the room. Our humidifier is also really simple. We simply have our humidity sensor here, just tied off on one of our shelves. And that is plugged in to our humidistat, which says that it is 84% relative humidity in our room. We have that plugged into a wall outlet. The transformer has been plugged into the humidistat. When the humidistat reads that the room is getting too little water in the air, it kicks on the transformer, which goes to our humidifier. And our humidifier is really simple. I'll open it up here in just a moment. But it is a waterproof fan that goes through some ducting into our water reservoir. Our reservoir has a 12 disc fogger in it and an automatic refill valve. That air goes through the top of the water, collects the fog, sends it up the elevator and out the elbow, which then gets mixed into the, the air that is being pulled into the room through the door. And if we hold our hand here, we can feel air flowing in from the negative pressure inside the room. That fog then mixes into the air and gets distributed throughout the grow room. That is why we have it up high so that as the fog sinks, Get, and then the ventilation is also up high, the fog can sink and then gets pulled back up through the room. And that gives it as much time in the air as possible. Going further into our humidifier here, we've simply cut a hole in here and cut a hole back here. And this hole back here allows us to run power through the lid without having to pinch the cord or kink it in any way. Our air is able to come out this hole and we just have a collar 
so that our elevator can slide in and out easily. And then if I open this, we'll probably hear the water refill valve kick on. Oh, it didn't yet. There it is. The humidifier is now on and you can see the fog coming out. Without that fan pushing the fog around, it just settles. The refill valve that we have here is from the kit that we got from House of Hydro, as is the 12 disc fogger and the transformer, the humidistat, the fan, all of that came in a House of Hydro kit. This white stuff on the outside here is lime buildup that grows from the hard water that we have here in East Tennessee and basically just grows like barnacles do on a ship or or any other kind of scaly buildup and we just clean that off regularly. Let me see if I can put the lid back on here. All we did, well, one second. All we did is buy this reservoir from Lowe's and then cut three holes in it. One for the power cord, one here for the collar for the elevator, one here for the quick connect for the fan. And that's just so that everything can be taken apart very easily, put together very easily, and allows us to clean on the regular and making it convenient. Also, when installing our automatic refill valve, we installed it along some PVC pipe and just plumbed it into the house. If you go along here, we have a shutoff valve for maintenance or emergency cutoff, a valve here along the way with a T-joint for our pressure washer to make cleaning much easier in the room. And then just under that, we have our ventilation, which runs from outside the room it's just the ventilation for the humidifier that's not our it does push air in through this fan and there's our water line run through the wall but it doesn't actually push enough fresh air into the room to make a difference except for the fact that it allows cool air to constantly be going over the humidifier keeping your sonic humidifier cool is particularly important in the longevity of the unit let me turn the camera back around Along with keeping your humidifier cool to improve its lifespan, you'll also want to keep your fan clean. Your fan will have a lot of spore buildup if you're doing a negative pressure room like I am. If you're doing a positive pressure room, you can get away with pushing air in and just filtering that air. And you really won't have any spore buildup on your fans because they're not directly pulling air out. Where I need the negative pressured room, I could use the filter and I have used the filter in the past but they clog up so fast that I find that it's actually cheaper to just clean the fans let them die two or three times a year and replace those because they're so cheap than it was to just constantly be replacing filters all the time seems counterintuitive but that's just the way it goes and the mushrooms don't seem to be complaining as far as your humidity <clears throat> As far as your humidity and ventilation goes, it's pretty simple. I like to make sure that you're capable of replacing your cubic feet of air in your room at least once per five minutes. I prefer twice every five minutes um, or even more if you can push that. It's uh, kind of expensive once you start getting higher and higher in that. Not to mention that you're, if you run it too much, you're gonna have a problem humidifying your air. So again, that balance that we've talked about before is extremely important. And there's a lot of playing around that's required with that. You're gonna grow mushrooms that abort because they're too dry, and then you're gonna grow mushrooms that are too wet so they get bacterial blotch, and then you're gonna grow mushrooms that are leggy because they don't have a fresh, enough fresh air, and so on and so on. The whole point is to play until you start getting just you know really nice clusters growing. Once you get these really nice little clusters growing, and I wish I had some of our big clusters available right now, um, it was delivery day, so we picked every last thing that we had. 
available. But each one of those, each one of these bags produces gigantic clusters, and in part because of the substrate, but in large part it's because of the humidity and the air that we're able to pump through this room. It does mean that my heating and air and cooling bill is higher than you know your typical house will be by a long shot. But producing quality mushrooms is your ticket to asking for higher prices from chefs. I like to go low and slow with my chefs, as in I like to do low volume, high price, high value mushrooms, right? It's not just that it's a high price, it's that the mushrooms are actually worth more because they're such good quality. So keeping your, your ventilation and humidification under control is pretty straightforward. I got a Sonic 12 disc Sonic humidifier from House of Hydro. Uh, I bought their kit, I bought their refill kit, I bought their humidistat. I'll link all of that stuff down below so that you can check that out for yourselves. The ventilation, I just bought a, a can fan, there it is, from Amazon, that's an 810 cubic feet per minute uh, can fan, eight inch and then eight inch ducting that I got from Lowe's. And I just set all of that up pretty easily. I'll have some footage here at the end with a little bit of music to just show you uh, what that all looked like as we were putting it together. It really allows us to grow a lot of mushrooms in a small space. We grew 400 pounds last week in like I said, the 1,881 cubic feet. It's an 11 by 19 grow room that's uh, nine feet tall. The House of Hydro stuff, I just want to do a little plug for them here for a second. Use those guys. Their stuff is awesome. You'll never find a better fog. And if you use code MOSSY, M-O-S-S-Y, when you check out with them, you'll get some free discs and uh, like a dollar off your order and it gives us a small kickback to uh, keep producing content for you guys. And, I mean, I promise those guys will take care of you. John, uh, over there at House of Hydro, he's got some of the best customer service I've ever seen. So I really highly recommend them. Other than that, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, please join me for the next video. Not really quite sure what I'm going to go over yet, but we'll figure it out. Other than that, keep spawning culture, y'all. I don't want nobody stabbing me with love Don't wanna waste no time getting my feelings hurt I believe in those things we don't know much of There's just so much to see that ain't about love I'm ready to face my fears I'm ready to taste the weird I just wanna walk the hills above My own I just wanna go, go, go to the deep end I just wanna go, go, go to the deepest end No planning, no stress and no work No trying to fix what we are Just go, go, go to the deepest end I never got to let loose Hanging out with you You toss and you turn the light Just go, 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 go.
clouds growing so pretty gonna eat you up 